talking about vitamin C. Vitamin C is quite the rage nowadays and everybody wants to try it. It's basically a water soluble vitamin that is present in a lot of food substances like citrus fruits. So we do consume a lot of vitamin C through our diet every day. But topical vitamin C serums or creams are now flooding the market. So let's get into some of the do's and don'ts of vitamin C. First of all, what does vitamin C do? Vitamin C is a very, very potent antioxidant. It fights free radical stress that occurs on the surface of your skin because of stress, because of pollution, because of sun exposure. What it also can do is it boosts collagen production in your skin. So it has an anti-aging effect. It also can fight pigmentation, age spots, melasma. It can help you fight a whole lot of skin conditions. The next question you'll ask me is when to use vitamin C and how you can incorporate it in your skincare routine. So for one thing, the best time to use a vitamin C is right before you apply your sunscreen in the morning. It works beautifully with sunscreens. They are a magic couple that go super, super well together. Do not use it at night if you're using retinoids. If you're not using retinoids, you can absolutely go ahead and use your vitamin C. The uh, conditions in which you have to avoid vitamin C are if you have active acne because vitamin C topically very often triggers active acne. Avoid it if you have rosacea. Avoid it if you have very sensitive skin or a very damaged skin barrier because it can irritate your skin a little bit in those circumstances. Now vitamin C is called by a whole lot of names. So there is L-ascorbic acid, ethyl ascorbic acid, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, and you're gonna get really confused with all of these terms. So which one should you use? So let me just break it down for you. L-ascorbic acid is the original form of vitamin C. It is the most potent, but it's also the most unstable. Unstability is the biggest problem with any vitamin C preparation. It gets oxidized with exposure to the environment, with exposure to sunlight. It gets oxidized by literally practically everything. So it has to be kept in these dark colored bottles. It has to be protected from sunlight. It has to be an airtight seal. And it starts to lose its potency very rapidly. So that is the problem with L-ascorbic acid. Ethyl ascorbic acid is actually a precursor of L-ascorbic acid and it's much, much more stable. The same with sodium ascorbyl phosphate and most of these other preparations tend to be more stable than L-ascorbic acid and which is why they were made in the first place. Um, one ingredient that uh, is added to a lot of vitamin C products is ferulic acid. Ferulic acid stabilizes vitamin C so it works super well together. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below.